Hello and welcome to the African Crap of Nations 2019, the semi-final here between Mauritius and Rwanda. We've got a great game here. Rwanda scoring plenty. Mauritius with Andy Zofi scoring plenty. Will we see plenty of goals this afternoon? Well, we saw a 2-2 draw in this tournament. End of the group stages between these two sides. Um, that was a thrilling game. Uh, Medi Kigeri's really come out and formed out of his shell race and as has Gary Noel it's it's an interesting battle between these two forward line I think we've got two of the best goalkeepers in the tournament in this game as well we've got Adam Jean-Louis haven't we although his name is not Adam is it Kevin? Kevin Jean-Louis, Kevin Jean-Louis. and Yves Kemenyi has been fabulous as well Gary Noel has scored three not scored three he's got three assists so far this tournament pretty Can decent get- going back best assist so far was that back heel against um, Comros that won the game for them in extra time well, it's one of them. It's one of the best of all time, isn't it? That, that it assist. It'll live long in the memory if Mauritius go on and win this tournament. And of course, Andy Sophie on five goals for the tournament. Yeah. Can mm. he catch Barry Steenkamp today and get his sixth? Well, you know, it's an interesting game tomorrow, isn't it? When Barry Steenkamp will look to add to his goal scoring tally, he will need to. There's also Ingonga, who could potentially get up there. I think he's got a few goals for himself. Ingonga, yep. Yeah. We've got a few goal scorers in both, see, both have, sides. Every side probably relies on a goal scorer to get into this stage. And we've got a treat as well for the uh, fans of crap football because we've got some new kits on display today, haven't we? They're beautiful new kits brought in for these semi finals. Here we are at the Stad George V. It's a massive day, isn't it, for Mauritius? And there's the new kit. They kits. came through and won that football match against Comoros when, you know, they, they could have lost that day, couldn't they? in that quarter-final. They, they gave up a lot of chances that Comoros didn't take. Yep, lucky, I suppose you could say. Norden Abu Roy wasn't on target a lot of the time. But it's a fiery atmosphere here. Well, it's starting quite modest atmosphere, I would say. It's such a big football match. Yeah, I think it's more respectful than, than anything. They're nervous. He is the Mauritius comes line. In, doesn't he? Yep, Ballas on there comes in. He's oh. only 22. For Fabian Pithia, who Pithia was sent off. Got sent off, yeah, even, he, got, even though he's on the bench there. but just They got through despite... He's not allowed to come on. They got through despite their... Going down a man. Unchanged for Rwanda. Obviously, you don't change winning formula. You it's, don't at all. It's their method. Gia Singh up there. He's got something to prove. Got a goal yeah. in that quarter-final. That 1-1 draw with Cape Verde. That went to penalties. They won the penalty shootout. Prediction? I, I think Mauritius will get it good. They have the weight of the crowd behind them and they've been playing well. I would say Mauritius as well. They're one of my favourite teams. Uh, hopefully we get a good game, a 3-2 or something like that. We've had some thrillers in the tournament so far. And we're underway in the semi-final. Mauritius in their red kit with the Mauritian flag over the chest. I'm always excited once you get to this stage of the competition. There's always a certain sadness I find as well that, you know, we're, we're leaving and soon we'll be packing up our bags to go home after a fabulous time in Mauritius. We can't really complain at three weeks of watching football in the sun. It's the dream, isn't it? It is. Jocelyn finds Augustin Very in the wing. start to the game. Oh, that was clever Mauritius. from Augustin. Through ball there to Augusta. And oh, the no, headed no, effort. An opener. And they've not managed to get themselves out there, play, trying to play from the back. Mauritius just trying to hold on to the ball. Playing a bit of keep ball. Mahiri cleans up well. Although passes it straight to uh, Gary Noel. But Nirisake has it. Nirisake, sorry. Medi Kigeri, we know his name. Drew Yasengi. He's a big name as well. And this is a fast forwarding player here from Rwanda. In the box now, but no one else in the box. So he has to square it. And it's oh! in! Oh! That came out of absolutely nowhere! Medi Kigeri! Hello, the atmosphere in this stadium. It's absolutely. Stunned by that opener from Medi Kigeri. Medi Kigeri's fourth goal of the tournament and it was an absolute peach. And I think the camera angle called us out there. Certainly. Certainly did. And there's the new kit on display as well in there. 
I'm not sure what you're trying to insinuate there. Want the lamp off? Hmm. Who wants the lamp off? I don't want to outright say I'm coming with it. Usually we have the lamp off, don't we? Right, and that was very good play there. So he bounced that off his own it foot. Was. And the first time effort just caught everyone by surprise. Including and the cameraman. Uh, yeah, including the cameraman. Including the person who operates the camera. And also the commentators. You caught yeah, us by surprise. It did. So Mauritius, although looked dominant for most they of the did. first ten they minutes. Most of the football, I would say. 90% of the football in that first 10 minutes. All you need is one attack. And Rwanda have proved that. They would stun Mauritius if they were to win this one. But here are Mish on the attack. Augustin. Villeneuve! Oh! Just one equalised. Villeneuve there. Well, he went for the near post with power. And uh, seems to be the wrong decision with hindsight. But well worked in the box. Good given goal there. Keeper saved that actually. Eves coming here, did he get a touch on that there? The stanchion there was rocking. Oh no, the keeper didn't oh, get a touch on that. Didn't think he did get a touch on that. That's contentious. Tuyasengi wins it well on the goalkeeper's ball, and here's. No, here is Tuyasengi. That's a block there from Jocelyn. Great block from Jocelyn. Needed to make it. Mahire. Into the hands of Jean Louis. Well held. Musi, well, he almost did well to turn his man there, but almost did. just a bad touch pushes it out of play. Osengimana. Osengimana, he's running. He didn't run far enough with it, though. Given away, here's Musi. Spreads the football well. To Villeneuve. That's cut out there, is it? It's cut out well. Here's to Yasengi. Just couldn't take the football with him there. And there's Ballison. Allison, him. his first game in the colours of Mauritius for Club M. Mm. Didn't get a clean sheet today, but he's, he's won the ball back there, so at least he feels like he's contributing. Do you sing Manor? Mauritius really under the cosh here. Oh, he's hit his own player in the face. Mauritius is struggling here. And it's hard to see, considering how good their first 10 minutes were. That's a great oh. save, though, from Kevin Jean-Louis. Oh. That's played out from the back well there to Jeremy Villeneuve. Well, think Gimana picks it up. Gives the football away. Can they make a break for it? They can't. Just struggling to get any type of shape at the minute. Ah, Mauritius. And Rwanda are all over them like a rash. <laughs> Mukunzi hits one. Ooh, Mukunzi always swinging wide from him there. Been an interesting 26 minutes so far. It's been one. enthralling. There we go. That's what we like to see from Sophie. What do you say? Mervyn Jocelyn. Mervyn Jocelyn. Andy Sophie. Couldn't direct his header on target there. Just He guided it well. He just didn't guide it on target. Yeah, he did good. He didn't do brilliantly, and that's that's why it's not gone in there because yeah. that had to be brilliant given how far out it was. It was. It had to loop. It really had to loop. Mm. I wasn't able to do that. Eves come in. He just boots that one, hoping that Kagari wins it, and Kagari wins it and gives it to Tuyasengi with the header, who fumbles it a little bit and gives the ball away. But Mukunzi wins it back. Kevin Mahira was in Gimana. Oh, Megd. Oh, fancy stuff here from Rwanda, and here's Mukunzi. Good save He's from John Lee. He's standing up well, isn't he? He is. And, and how many times has he had to do that in this tournament? Well, he'd say too many, wouldn't he? He would, but I think goalkeepers see people like being worked. They enjoy a football match they're involved in. Well, Balisson was well out of position there. You can tell he's not been gelling with the rest of this squad. Oh, that was an important win, that. And he will keep going, Villeneuve. Oh, Villeneuve will keep going. Oh, Villeneuve gets tackled by Rotay Abe. Fiery atmosphere. Yep, you complained about it earlier, but it's electric now. Tresangi! Oh, that's a turn up for the box. And Rwanda lead 2-0. And it seems to be falling apart from Mauritius. 
Tiasengi with his fourth goal of the tournament there. Really coming alive here at Rwanda late on in the tournament and the host nation are out at the minute. It's not going well for them, I just said. They won't be going this home This is though. not going to script at all. They'll simply be going on a, a six-mile bus journey back home. <laughs> well, he... Was it Balisson? No, it, it wasn't. It was no. Augustine, wasn't it? No, or was it Jocelyn? Sorry, Jocelyn missed, lost the football there. But Balisson has been out of position and all out of Balisson luck. was... Well, almost initially lost it there and then... Tia Senge pickpocketed Jocelyn and then what a great strike that is into the back of the net no chance for Jean-Louis and the team who I feel have been the most impressive throughout the tournament are now leading 2-0 underway quickly here from Mauritius they want to get things going as quickly as they can they need to go back in this first half I feel to stand a real chance of Upsetting what seems to be the game so far. Moving Jocelyn, the man who arguably made the mistake. Oh, maybe Kagari Mukunzi. Going back well there from that. Langway. For Langway. Langway who plays in the La Liga. Villeneuve. Villeneuve with a bad touch there. I think Villeneuve is trying to do two more. Yeah, me too. Tia Senge. Tia Senge is absolutely clean oh, through here. Be. That's 3-0. Three. Three well, that is, is the game. This is not what you want to see, is it, in the, oh, the semi final? They have been fantastic today. Well. And I tell does you this what, remind you of anything 3-0 so far? Does it, does it hark back to a host... We've seen hosts hammered in semi-finals in the past. Well, Tia Senge is now on five. We have seen... We have, yeah, as I said, we have seen hosts hammered in semi-finals in the past. I heard Paris. you! I heard you the first time. I didn't think it was a question because everyone knows you're talking about Germany. All right, OK, yes. It's not that bad, is it? Not yet. It's not yet, no. It could be, though. Mauritius. What went wrong with them today? Is it the lack of Pythia? Do you think they're missing him? I think they're missing him massively, yeah. In that back line, they're all to pot without him. He's the captain as well, isn't he, Pythia? Mm. So they managed to get through against uh, Comoros. But uh, not happening for them today. Rwanda lead 3-0. Irving Dustin that might have just worked out for them nicely no it's there. going to run out of play well, it will be half time and mm, quite rightly they are booed off the field Mauritius well they're the horse nation and not everyone in the country is here to see them and to put on a display like that really is shocking and, in every sense of the I word I mean look at look at the statistics though I mean Mauritius have more of the ball yep but, they've uh, been playing Rwanda well they've been much more Rwanda just have that counter attack that you see. They have. And the pace. It's done them three times there, hasn't it? It has. They were all three were counter attacks, weren't they? They were. So. so what are your thoughts? Well, I mean, it's been an interesting half. More than interesting, it's been. Uh, has it been shocking? For shocking. You? Yeah, absolutely shocking. Do you think? I mean, there's not even much to say. I was stunned. It's quite, it's quite stunning. Well, Marin's just in that first 10 minutes, it looked like Randa weren't even going to yeah, get a touch of the ball. They didn't. And then. And then something just sparked something to life. Something clicked for Rwanda. Like, we've seen that before in the tournament. That quality that comes on display. And we'll get back underway here with Rwanda. Looking for a fourth, I suppose. Maybe the fourth goal. That's when they will truly feel safe. Oh, it's a great one from Ballas on there. Ballas on Cable. Strength and precision. Feel nerve. Feel nerve. We saw him take matters into his own hands in the first half. I don't know why Andy Sophie is letting it run there. Well done by Andy Sophie. He battled well. Oh, he battled really well there. And almost won it. Well, he is. 
Good for Ruigo. Aguero. Trying to get shoved off the ball there. Real move to Andy Sulfi. Only falls as far as Ballas and the Gary Noel. Andy Sulfi couldn't collect it. A lot of pressure there from Andy Sophie on the keeper and uh, forced him to play a weird little pass. And Villeneuve again, pressing high here in Mauritius. They want, they have to. Ah, that was the wrong pass there. And it's caught them short at the back. Really on Marenga. Oh, oh, the chip was just underpowered. Should have just squared that to someone. That was offside, offside yeah. rightly so. Yeah, as well, you can clearly see, Medic Gary, a long way offside. Plenty of different rules there, weren't there? The defenders have just obviously gone up to win the football high up the field. That's their pressing play, is it, from Mauritius, causing the offside there. It's a secondary effect of pressing. Oh, Vilna just couldn't squeeze himself through there. Oh, and that's a key ball. Can he just square it here? He's laid it off to a single! The hat trick was on for him there, wasn't it? It was. That was a handball as well there. But scooped it up with his hands. Says no. Nope. Goalkeeper had to make that commitment. And then Tiasenga with one of the main, amazing misses of the tournament. Shocking stuff from Tiasenga. Almost as bad as Meachame. But this game is more high stakes than that one. Hello, uh, if Mauritius want to get back into this tournament, they're going to have to score a goal. Andy Sophie! He gets back, one. Back. One back for the Mauritians. 3-1. It's, it's the man himself, Andy Sophie. And ugh, it looks like it. Look at him, trying to get that crowd fired up. And I can't blame him. Because they must be... So a big miss at the other end. Seeding us. And then Andy Sophie runs on and scores. What is that? His sixth of the tournament. His sixth of the tournament. Joint top now. I mean, there's four players joint top, but Andy Sophie's one of them. And on the verge of an upset here, Mauritius claw one back and the fans have a little They'll bit of hope. Fired up. A little bit of hope for the fans. Yeah, that's the right attitude to have, Andy Sophie. Not letting his head drop. Not at all. He's keeping himself confident in this one. But how long will that confidence last? Oh, almost not very long. It's and a it goal. Isn't. It's Reguero. Herb Reguero. Reguero, yes. Gets the fourth of the day for Rwanda. And, well, the confidence had went back for Mauritius there. And he simply just had to pass it in, didn't he? He did. And he does. Wow, I can't find Reguero. Has he not scored yet? No. He's played well all tournament, but that was his first goal. Interesting. And it's a crucial goal. So, uh, Mauritius have it all to do again. And he's Rose. Oh, oh, he did the target. score that. He did, but he is a centre back. He is. But I've got to ask question why is he so far up the field? But oh. Desperate to score, I suppose. I guess so. Defenders finish there from Rose. And a um, lovely kit there for the Russians. They'd be hoping to wear that in the final, is what the plan was. The plan was that it's not gave them great luck in this tournament, that kit there. Do you think the final will still have a good atmosphere if Mauritius aren't there? Which is looking I'm sure likely. It will. I'm sure it will. I'm not sure what happened there, actually. We'll have a look. Well, the referee has given him offside there for a man who hasn't even touched the foot. Did he affect the play, though, didn't he? I suppose he's affected he the play, He dragged away yeah. the defender there. Um, so I guess that's... the stranger. The ruling. Calls, and he's Andy Sophie! Couldn't get the shot away. Gary Noel. 
Good swung. Held well by Kamenye. Yep. Nice. And that's a great ball. That is a fantastic On Baringa. Oh, he just drives it wide. Saw the keeper rushing out there and hit it. <clears throat> and it didn't go in. A great ball, that one. That's so you run the risk of getting the ball played in behind you. Oh, the keeper got a touch, I think. Maybe that was we'll going see in. see what the ruling will be. Maybe it's just my eyes, again, deceiving me. Nope, so my eyes. Him. Need to go and get my eyes tested. Just running through them like paper. <laughs> like paper? Like scissors and paper. Oh! Do you think the Mercer's fans will want to see this game over? I think they want to Do go they home, they've lost don't their they? belief? Yeah. The lost donos have not turned up today. It's a shame, really. It is. And a, will be a corner. It will be a corner. Precious. On a great header. Oh, and it's just over there. It's a nice moustache. From Moose. This moves. Yeah. He's moving you, right? Just teasing them now, isn't he? Mehdi Kageri. <laughs> Trying to do the flick, the rainbow flick. Mehdi Kageri rolling it back. And you try to do the rainbow flick again. They can afford to do this. They're three, three goals up with only ten minutes left. They have lost all belief, have Rwanda. And they keep defending the uh, rainbow flick there. Yeah. But it's it's a matter of seeing this game out now. That's just frustration that there. <laughs> they will not win that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Mauritians will not let them score a goal of the tournament contender today. Well, if it's fabricated, then how is it a goal of the tournament? This is not the freestyle football tournament. Not a good save. He's been solid when he needed to be today. Well, they look like Brazil with those yellow and blue kits, and they've been playing like them today, haven't they? Look, they? Well. Well, not very much like Brazil, but you get the More gist. More impressive if... than Brazil, I would say. Certainly. Classic Brazil, I would say. That's what they've been like today. Cleared away. Oh, well, he's just going to have the whole of... That's just toying with them. It is just toying with them now. They know it's game over. <laughs> Under the hands of... John Lee there. Oh, he just gives the ball away. Oh, and that, that is full time, almost. isn't it? Almost. I oh, think I got, heard uh, a whistle from the crowd. Oh, no, it's offside. It's offside. Fair enough. Medigieri there. But Mauritius have just stopped playing, haven't they? They have. They've they got that goal back, but then that goal from Maguire absolutely crushed him. Andy Sophie fouls his man there. Minutes remaining in this one. Oh, well, he set him up there, hasn't he? He set him up for the fifth. 
Medic Gary gets his second of the game. And, well, that was just poor defending there. Medic Gary Tried to play it across the back line. And Medic Gary makes them suffer there. Rwanda have been fantastic in this game. I mean, it's theirs to lose now, this tournament, based Paul on the Lustin. day. I think he was just trying to play it to Balisson, but nicked off him by Medica Gary. And tucked away well. And we have a fifth. Pushed in well, thought he could just play it simply. Well, you never ever play it across the box like that. It's the first thing you taught, even in primary school football. Not when people are lurking about. I think the crowd must be leaving here very early on. Well, not very early, there's only seconds left now the hometown hero Andy Sophie did not win the golden boot today and he's going home with the rest of the Mauritius squad as Rwanda win 5-1 in the semi-final stunned by a football match in crap football history it's disheartening it really is I feel a bit sad for you, Mauritius you can feel it can't you in the stadium the the absolute disappointment around us there you know there's children crying there's I should hope not Oh, there's children in tears. They're, they're disgusted by their football team today. There's... Oh, you can just feel it. The atmosphere has been sucked from the stadium. So there was Medica Gary the open. That was a fine opener. They started really well, Mauritius. Had ball early on, fiery atmosphere. But then it all fell apart for them. Feel nerve. We thought this was an equaliser. Proved... Just wide, hit the stanchion there. It did hit the stanchion, James. And then Tiasenge had a shot. Bit of a block there. Started getting in their stride, Rwanda. Good scene from Jean Louis. McCunsey there he fired one in John Louis had to stand up well he was keeping them in the football match at this well, point well at this point yeah Mauritius was still very much in it and very much on top and then Tiasenge he profited from Jocelyn's mistake there and fired it in and that was the tie changer wasn't it that was 2 now. so there you go there's the incident Jocelyn just on the football there, uh, dispossessed. Well, Ballaston made himself open for the pass and Jocelyn never passed it to him. And that's what happened. A goal at the other end, that's one mistake. And then 43 minutes, Tiasenge beats everyone. Simply slides it under Jean-Louis. That's 3-0. It's like Jamie Vardy, that goal. That was pretty much curtains for Mauritius. Andy then Sophie in the 60th minute, Andy Sophie gets one back. Bit of belief here, back into the... Mauritius Hearts. But then... Herve Ruguigo. Sealed the deal, didn't he? He did. Has to do better with that shot, John Louis. He's had a fine tournament, but... Beaten by that one, that crucial... He has to do better on that other shot as well. That's a, that's a team effort. I think that was goalkeeper error, to be fair, that one. Yep, he had to score that to give them a chance of getting back in there. Rose, the man who plays for Lorient. And then the end of this game should just be Rwanda trying to uh, seal the deal, really, with a fifth, which they do. They get a fifth, don't they? They do get a fifth, but they try to get it in Any a bit better fashion than most goals. They were toying with them at this point. This was a good header. But it was over the bar. And then Curse and Agath. Are you disappointed to see Mauritius leave the tournament? Is there a, an element of disappointment? Well, they're not leaving the tournament, actually. It's just occurred to me that they will be playing again in the oh, third place playing, playoff. Well, how did they pick themselves up for that game? Pythia will be back. Yeah, Pythia will be back. And it's just for fun, then. It's just a friendly, and they can give the Mauritian fans what they deserved in the first place. Yep. And get to see their home nation. Gary getting a fifth. 
So that is a consolation that makes me a bit a little happier about the whole situation. Do you not like? Do you like to see a hammering in a semi-final? Does it? Does it? Does it? Do you want to see close games? Well, and that's these, the thing. These just, big games, don't you? I mean, even in most tournaments, semi-finals are more often not washouts than not. Even in the rugby semi-final in 2003. That was one of the best games ever. I think it was in France, England against France. Are we thinking about? Are we thinking about England France 2007? No, it was a long time ago. Oh, this so final. 2003. There was the semi-final. Yeah, it was one of the best rugby games I've ever watched. And then the final was horrible. It was one of the worst games I've seen. In that rugby world, Cup, I England, know we should be talking about rugby because yeah, England played football. South Africa in the final of the 2007 rugby world. Cup. It wasn't the 2007. It was certainly was it 2003? 2003. Yeah. Okay. It was one where Johnny Wilkinson yeah. must have England, kicked it through Australia. there. Australia. Yeah. Uh, in the final, must have played France in the semi final. Maybe they did. Oh, no, maybe not. I was in the rugby club in Kissick for it anyway. Either way, often, well, we've seen it with Germany and, and Brazil. I suppose you've figured them out by now. They've played, the legs are getting tired, and a team who's. It was a completely different game from the group stage game, wasn't it? Yeah, maybe Rwanda were holding back in the groups, knowing. I think Rwanda were the better side overall. I think Rwanda deserved to win the final. If there was one team that have impressed me throughout the tournament so far. I'd have to say Rwanda. They're my, that, that, that's that's the team you first saw and you thought their potential winners them. Oh, well, they're in the final and they've only got one team to beat. It's and either we'll, going to be Zambia or... We'll find that out East tomorrow. Won't we? And you like Zambia, actually, don't you? I do. I think Rwanda-Zambia would be a fantastic final. Well, I, I personally think uh, Iswatini were the, top, were the best team so far and uh, it's going to be a great other semi-final. Yep, they and a came great final. through well against... Um, Ethiopia didn't they they turn, turn up for the books and they shocked Ethiopia in that quarter final yep so Rwanda will be playing the winner of Zambia and oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a good game game what we've seen days. so my goal uh, scorers table here has Kagari and Tuyasenge only one goal off Barry Steenkamp with six so we could see in the final a battle for the golden boot deciding the golden boot yeah and we'll, we'll end this video here We'll have a look at the man of the match first. And it was Tiasengi. Fair play, Tiasengi. Turning up today, it's been more Medi Kigeri, hasn't it, really? Hey, two, two goals, one assist for Tiasengi. That's man of the match stuff, isn't it? Yeah, he's turned up when he needed to there. And is Sophie the best player for Mauritius? Probably fair enough. He got the goal, didn't he? He did, he got the goal. So we'll see you in 24 hours' time. Four for hopefully a little bit of a better game than this one a more competitive football match yeah, hopefully but we uh, will see I just hope the atmosphere is I hope the, the fans of the two teams win the atmosphere but I hope the Russian fans are still still motivated they're getting a fantastic event in their country and when the hosts go out it can sap a bit of the, the joy from the tournament it can certainly so we'll see you tomorrow goodbye